Okay, we're, I'm taking my first flight. There's Emma. We're on the flight. We're on British Airways. We're heading to Florence. And we have worn our masks all the way through the airport. My friend Strader. Um, and we're ready for Florence. Fingers crossed that it is. The Florence sky. Okay, so I did bring. Oh my gosh, Emma, do you remember sitting there? Yeah. So I did bring um, this like steady cam thing, but it's in my suitcase. Emma's got my suitcases, so we're walking to our hotel. But look here, everybody. This is the Duomo, and it, there's not a lot of people there because I suspect it's missing a lot of American tourists. This is the quietest I have ever ever seen this the where we are now I mean literally so we're gonna go grab a coffee first oh uh, but I mean and I'm gonna start speaking Italian too I'm gonna get that on film too all right I've got my mask on but I hope you can hear me this is definitely this is our favorite coffee place a hundred percent while we were here I mean there's Emma queuing up but this is definitely the best coffee place when you come to Italy, right there. Vita Artigianale, right there. Boom. And this is the famous sandwich shops. Emma and I, don't worry, we'll be eating these, but I just need to show you guys this cute in case you don't see it before. It, the sandwiches are out of this world. So you can, if I zoom in there, that's where we're gonna go in a couple of days. But it's, we know we'll never experience anything like this ever again. So Emma and I are completely and utterly enjoying um, the emptiness of Florence. So of course it's going to bounce back. It will, but we are having, whoop, we are having a fun day being some of the only tourists here in what well, we feel like we're the only tourists here in Florence. So I just wanted to give you guys a different feel of Florence rather than going to all the places that I'm sure many of you have been um, so that you guys can see um, different places that we found just on our sort of walking tour today. Um, but yeah, so we're just walking down a little alleyway here. You can see behind me, and again, there's gelato. There's gelaterias everywhere. Oh, by the way, and I've been actually using my Italian. Emma, how's my Italian been? Good. She it's just said good. it's good. She said molto bene. Molto bene. I'm going to get you on camera for you guys to see my Italian. We've just literally stumbled across an amazing market here in Florence. I will tell you where this is um, once I find out myself where it is. But look at all of this incredible fresh fruit, veg, everything. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Everybody's wearing masks. Um, there's clothes over here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to, well, obviously, get my house in Tuscany. Look at that. I mean, brilliant. All of this. And then it goes all the way down there. I think Emma and I, we're gonna go look at, we'll go look here. Some handbags. Fantastic. I'll find out the name of this market for you guys once I figure it out myself. Clothes, Europe, I mean, look at this. Bags, those are nice bags. Jewelry. Oh, there's an indoor market too, Em. So there's obviously, looks like restaurants indoors, but I think most things now are obviously outdoors. Anyway wanted to give you guys a peek. I'm going to find out the name of this market so that you know, but it's a good one. I'm going to give you just a quick tour of our room. So I always have to have a bath. So that is the bath. I have to have a bath. And then I'm just going to mm -hmm, do that. We've kind of started to unpack. There's Emma's foot where we've just come back from a day. I'm going to show you because I've been, you've been seeing bits of it, but this is our view right now. So we're off literally off the Arno and 
it's pretty so the hotel is Hotel Lucchesi and this is our magnificent view okay and then all the way down there well way down there is the Ponte Vecchio so this is the amazing view and then I'm just gonna back it up because we went shopping today and I always like to get like special things so this is I found this at this vintage shop so and I'm gonna give you guys um, we'll be putting this in the video but this vintage shop and this is boutique Nadine she does vintage and um, like Italian clothes and then this is a necklace all oh, this is affordable too this isn't like so I try to always get some piece of jewelry when I come this was he handmade this so la gaza ladra okay, so emma and i we're we're not in like the we're obviously in florence but we're in sort of the less touristy part and we just got some fantastic jewelry here well, i'm going to give you guys the card here reasonably priced all handmade by the chap in there all of it handmade um and it's just that every time i go to florence i try to buy one piece of jewelry that's been handmade by somebody who is uh, from Florence and obviously Italian. This is super cute. You guys are going to see me wear this for sure, especially when I start filming again. Um, super cute just to wear my hair if I get dressed up. That's from Studio Teca. That was just a motorcycle that went by. We went to this amazing vintage place as well, and I'm going to give you guys all this um, detail. Um, and then this is like literally one of my favorites so abacus oh my gosh he was so lovely and i got myself a brand new um look at that look at the mm, i just like all these things i'm just showing you guys this he basically makes all of these wonderful leather um books that we well leather bound books that we just bought so oh my gosh and it's in the cutest building ever and i got myself a lined uh notebook these are matching pencils super cute yeah, so matching pencils here. Look at that, colored pencils, so I can color in my book. How great is that? And we went here for lunch today, highly recommend. Just super cute, inexpensive, perfect. And you're gonna see tonight, we're going here for supper. So we just booked there for supper. This is what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. So again, I got this at Boutique Nadine, and it's a jumpsuit. So that's not vintage. Um, but these are all my lovely finds from, from Florence, which I'm super excited. And then tomorrow, tomorrow we're touring. So here's one last shot. And you can hear, maybe you can hear the bells. Let's listen closely. I can hear. It's Santa Croce. Windy, a little bit windy, but it is outstanding. There's Emma. This is literally the view from a hotel. It's incredible. I, we did not know that it had this, but look at that sky. That is the Florence sky right there. And I'm just gonna snake it around here. Snake it around. Emma's having an Aperol spritz. Somebody's filming over there. And then we've got pool. Yep. Cool. And we've got live singers right there. But the sky is something I haven't quite seen before. We are sitting in like a beautiful alleyway. We're gonna, but it's so amazing here. So we just found a really quaint street and they're about to set the table. And it's, I have to say, fantastic. Si, si. Ah, okay. Grazie mille. Oh my goodness. La pasta picci, si? Si, picci. Si. Con uh, pecorino. pecorino. Yes. E... Fresh truffle. Si. And uh, fresh pepper. Ho dimenticato si. il guantino. Si, si, si. Anche il guantino, ah. per favore. Favorite pasta right here, everybody. Look at that pecorino. Mm. September, middle of September till the end of um, oh. December. That's when it's like. Is the one. Yeah. For me, if you have to choose the moment to come here, is a 
Palola? In the pool. Oh. Oh. Okay. Also because it's my birthday, but uh, <laughs> you got the white truffle. Incredible. Season. You got the French olive oil in your press, so oh, more spicy. Wow. Uh -huh. And then, uh, not very busy. Oh, here comes Still the sunny. truffle. We'll come again then. In yeah. Italia, in Italiana, truffle. Tartufo. T tartufo, see? Si? Tartufo, yes. Mom, we need to come in October. Halloween we need to come birthday. in October, okay. Halloween's your birthday? Yep. Okay, okay, we're coming no, in October. No, it's my birthday, I mean, it's, oh, right. the, it's the white season truffle. Oh. The, um, olive oil, the new press. Okay, so the everything Mount happens Paris. in October. And I'm gonna have another beer with Emma. Everybody, I just wanted to give you a view, whoops, of the rooftop of the hotel that we're staying in. And I'm on my special little tracker thing that my amazing husband gave me. So I'm not perfect at it, but I try. I can look at the pan, and go up, and go down, and look at it. So then it makes, there's Emma. And I'm just gonna go around. So this is on top of our hotel. I mean, we had no idea. It's just, look at this. So I'm just gonna kind of go around and then it has a pool. So somebody's doing pictures there. I would do pictures there too. So we might, we're, our plan is to go back to the pool today. But again, I wanted to give you guys, it's really sweet. I wanted to give you guys a little um, tour of, of the rooftop here because it's pretty darn incredible. Ooh, and they're doing some... And we're just about to walk up to uh, Santa Maria Novella. So we're gonna head up there. Our room is down below there. So this is where we had drinks last night as well. And the sunset has been out of this world. Like literally the sunset last night was insane. So I just wanna give you one more view and then we're out of here. We're gonna go walk up, so you're gonna see me walking up to, um, to, here we go. We are at, if you look closely, we are at the Ponte Vecchio there. So I'm gonna zoom in, it's my new zoom thing on my thing. So there's the Ponte Vecchio. And again, this is probably the quietest, well definitely the quietest that, and the River Arno that Emma and I have ever seen Florence before. So I'm zooming in here, just so you guys can see our hotel is right over there on the Arno, so our hotel that you guys have seen. Um, and it, we're heading, we're going, we're going across the bridge now. I'm gonna zoom back out now. Zoom back out. We're heading across the bridge. There's Emma looking very cool holding my coffee. Oop, she's looking so cute. Cheers to Emma, yay! And this is my special little thing, but I just wanted to give you guys an amazing tour of Ponte Vecchio. I'm gonna grab my bag now and I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna walk. So I'm just gonna turn it, it's so cool. I like this little thing that my husband got me, I have to be honest. It is just amazing. So we're just walking here. So you can see there's lots of people, everybody pretty much, well, okay, not everybody, but I would say most people, well, indoors, everybody's wearing a mask for sure. And many, many people outdoors as well, which is great to see. And we're just gonna, we're gonna show you a gelateria place over there much later on. Again, let's just have another view of Ponte Vecchio. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, I'm just gonna do that so it tracks me. It's just this amazing thing. Okay, so here we are, there's Emma behind me. Um, we are walking. Again, I'm just giving you little tours here where we're walking. This is this, and there's like a bike path we're on the other side of the Arno right now. So once I, we get to where our next destination is, I'm gonna turn this camera back on and um, refine my camera skills to do um, a little time lapse, which should work. Um, but yeah, here we are in Florence with, as you can see, it's just, it's incredible. It's just not, it, it's just not, it's just not crowded. Oh, I can even move it out there. Well, that's, ooh, I like that. Sorry, everybody, I'm just, those of you watching this on my Patreon page first, I'm doing this because it's 
my first time kind of filming without Steven. And um, my husband bought me this swanky, it almost looks like a selfie stick, Emma, wouldn't you say? But it kind of follows you around. I still need to like probably learn a little bit more, but I think for my first time, it's all right. And then it follows me. Look at that, see? I just turned that way and it follows me. You guys can see that, super cool. Okay, over and out. I'm gonna go uh, continue my walk. So just a quick little pano here, if you like. Our hotel is literally there. That is our hotel right there. So if you want to come and stay, we absolutely love this hotel. We just found it on booking.com. We were like, perfect. Okay, you guys, we've, we've just come into a church. It's beautiful. It's up from the Piazza Michelangelo. And you can see no one is in here. I mean, it's extraordinary. You can also see that the beams are quite new, so they probably had a fire or something like that. But I mean, I'm just guessing. Sorry, I have my mask on, so it's probably hard to hear. But we've just come into this gorgeous, beautiful, I think it's 12th century. I'm going to have to find out for you guys. This is where we were hoping to go. But beautiful church here. I'm just going to do a quick pan. It's fantastic still in use. Wonderful. And absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to give you a view of when I go out. So you can see the outside of this church. Hopefully you can still hear me because I'm in, I have my mask on. Again, look at not very many people. We go up, those are the stairs. And we're heading to here. My gimbal, that's what it's called is doing quite well. Heading up to here, heading up to here. Wait till you see the views behind me. Getting there, boom. But we are heading up these steps, up here. Whew. So I'm just gonna give you guys the end of views. Looks like there's a service going on in there. The views are, I mean, magnificent. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. All right, we've sat down for a bit because well, we just it's super hot here today in Florence, but we're at these amazing man-made kind of falls behind us. So, um, and they were for made for, you know, it's all about the art here. So you can see them, they were made um, over the course of four years in the 1800s. I can look back here. 1872 to 1876, and they were for the, an aesthetic reason. But we're sitting here, and we're overlooking the magnificent tower. Let's see if I can move this up. There we go. Oh, everybody. Sometimes that happens with my new gadget. Hilarious. There. How cool is that? So we're sitting outside here. We still have a long way to go. You can see the Duomo in the back. And we're going to head up these steps there. There's Emma's feet. Head up these steps there. But I just wanted to show you where we are stopping off. And also, just to show you guys these uh, man-made falls behind me. Um, hopefully you can get a good glimpse. But again, you know, I'm, I need to stop saying it, so I'm not gonna say it, but it's like, there's no one here. At once in a lifetime, uh, I'm certain that this is the case. All right, we found our place for gelato. And I, we we're looking at these. So I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the ricotta cheese and pear. I mean, it, Italy's known for its cheese and pears maybe. So this is where we are. So again, I'll give you guys these details, but um, this is, there's Ponte Vecchio over there. And we're gonna head in here and get some lovely 
gelato. All right, we are ending on a high. This restaurant that was recommended is, it, uh, it's phenomenal. So we are in Primi. So we are doing our Primi Piatti, our first course here. I have an aubergine um, ravioli, and Emma has uh, like a tomato zucchini ravioli. And by the way, we've got some local craft beer as well. So I did a tropical pale ale, but it is really. For those of you who can't visit Florence right now, I hope that this has really helped to whet your appetite for uh, visiting Florence in the future uh, when we all get through this. And a huge shout out to those patrons in the top tier, um, to Cheryl, Sherry, Taylor, Robert, and Angeline. Thank you guys so much. And again, thank you to all of my patrons for supporting um, us here at American Aristocrat.